The 14 countries with no tax. In 2021, Elon Musk paid nearly $11 billion in taxes. But that's Elon Musk. What about you? Are you tired of paying taxes? What if I say you don't have to pay taxes at all in certain countries? Yes, you heard right. According to the World Population Review Report, there are a few countries that do not have income tax at all. So join us on Country Facts as we tell you about the 14 countries that do not pay income taxes. And before we begin, please make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. The first thing we need to know is how is it possible for a country to have no income tax? As a resident of a high-tax country such as the United States or Australia, you may be curious about how countries with no income tax make ends meet. However, the solution is straightforward. Find new money streams. Consider Alaska and Nevada, two U.S. states that do not have a state income tax. Because Alaska is a major oil producer, the oil and gas industry accounts for nearly 90% of its earnings. In truth, Alaska distributes oil revenue to its residents through a permanent fund. With so much revenue, Alaska doesn't require an income tax, and oil-rich countries like Oman and Qatar don't either. Nevada, on the other hand, has few natural resources but earns enough cash from tourists to maintain its government without imposing an income tax. Countries with no taxes have a simple system in which you do not pay any income tax. Low-tax countries, on the other hand, adopt territorial systems that only tax sources of income that are local. Living tax-free in a country with a territorial system may give you more alternatives for second homes, but you may end up paying tax if you rent your property or invest in a local business. Low-tax and no-tax countries are thus similar in that you can theoretically pay no taxes in such regions, but in low-tax countries, you may be required to pay under specific circumstances. Now, let's see which are those 14 countries with no taxes. The first one, the Bahamas. There is a general rule, the more money you invest in the Bahamas, the more likely the immigration office will treat you positively. While obtaining permanent residence is primarily an issue of money, obtaining citizenship is a different story. The country has toyed with the idea of a costly citizenship by investment program, but nothing has come of it. You won't have to pay much in taxes to the Bahamas, but you will have to spend a lot of money to live there. The second one is Bahrain. Bahrain was one of the first Persian Gulf governments to discover oil on its soil. However, gaining permanent residency in Bahrain and many other Gulf states can be challenging. To establish permanent residence in Bahrain, you must be retired, own property worth $135,000, or invest $270,000 in a Bahraini company. While it is possible to obtain permanent residency in Bahrain, citizenship is a different issue. You must have lived in the country for 25 years and be fluent in Arabic. If you're seeking a tax-free permanent residence in the Gulf, Bahrain could be an option, but don't expect to receive a second passport there. The third one is Bermuda. The British Overseas Territory in the North Atlantic Ocean is noted for its pink sand beaches and 0% income tax. It does, however, have a payroll tax. The key distinction is that payroll tax is only needed by employers who may deduct 6% of employees' salaries to cover the tax. Furthermore, if you're self-employed, you must pay your own payroll taxes. Bermuda has a population of only 62,000 people and no residency or citizenship by investment programs. The fourth one is Brunei. This tiny sultanate on Malaysia's Borneo Island also has enough oil wealth to avoid paying income tax. Brunei, on the other hand, is incredibly difficult to reside in, unlike Bahrain or the Bahamas. Permanent residence and citizenship are also out of the question unless you can win the sultan's approval. The fifth one, the Cayman Islands. The Cayman Islands, like the Bahamas, attract enough tourists to keep the government alive without the need for income tax. However, if you intend to live there for an extended period of time, be prepared to invest a significant amount of money. If you want to live on the Grand Cayman, you must earn $145,000 a year and invest at least $600,000 in real estate or local businesses. After that, you must wait another eight years for permanent residence. Our next one is Kuwait. Foreign citizens account for two-thirds of the population, and Kuwait City is extremely Americanized and easy to traverse. It also has little need for foreign investment, The citizenship through investment is out of the question. Living permanently in Kuwait's tax-free haven is therefore nearly difficult, therefore I wouldn't base your tax plan on this. Another one is the Maldives. Spending your days tax-free in the Maldives may sound appealing at first, but remaining there for an extended period of time is nearly impossible. To even seek citizenship or permanent residence, you must be a Sunni Muslim. Even if you are Muslim, there is no scheme for foreigners to become permanent residents, let alone citizens, in the country. The eighth one is Monaco. 
Monaco's status as one of the world's top tax-free countries has turned it into a playground for Europe's affluent. Furthermore, because the country attracts high-income, tax-averse individuals, it will most certainly remain among countries with no income tax for the foreseeable future. Although you will need to spend several million dollars to establish your wealth in order to become a resident, the residency process is rather simple because it's a favorite destination for wealthy foreigners. The ninth one is Nauru. Most people are only familiar with Nauru since it is the site of a contentious Australian-run detention camp for asylum seekers. Although Nauru boasts many of the lovely characteristics that attract visitors to other Pacific islands, this island's phosphate mining industry has wrecked its economy. It may even be sinking into the Pacific Ocean as sea levels rise. In reality, because of the government's last-ditch efforts to keep the economy afloat, Nauru is one of the world's countries with no taxes. The tenth one is Oman. As with most affluent Middle Eastern republics, Oman isn't exactly desperate for foreign capital, so expatriates wishing to relocate there usually need to have a job or relatives in the country. Living there can also be a significant adjustment because Omani culture is fairly conservative. To buy a bottle of wine, you must first obtain a personal liquor license from a local police station. Our 11th one is Qatar. Qatar is an enthralling country due to its exceptional degree of development and position in global affairs. Although Qatar is dictatorial by most measures, it financially and through Al Jazeera, a Doha-based media institution, supported various rebel groups during the Arab Spring. Qatar's regional and global ambitions have landed the country in hot water with its Middle Eastern neighbors, with many cutting diplomatic ties with the country. Despite the turmoil, Qatar is very tranquil and pleasant location to live, and it is the only Gulf country that allows foreigners to stay permanently. Next up is St. Kitts and Nevis. The cost of its citizenship by investment program is also significantly lower than that of other citizenship by investment programs. To obtain the passport, you have two investment alternatives, a $150,000 donation to the Sustainable Growth Fund or a $400,000 investment in a government-approved real estate project. Obtaining a second passport in St. Kitts is one of the most straightforward ways to reduce your global tax bill. Then we have Somalia. The fact that Somalia is a failed state contributes to the country's lack of an income tax. The country's leadership has battled to re-establish authority since the country collapsed into civil war in the early 1990s. Insurgent groups such as Al-Shabaab continue to dominate substantial areas of the nation. The Somali Central Authority held only a few city blocks in Mogadishu at its worst. Somalia is now a little more stable. While it still battles with civil strife, key achievements such as the first commercial flight from Ethiopia to Mogadishu in over four decades have given renewed optimism that the country isn't too far gone. And the last on our list is the UAE. It's also easier to become a resident in the United Arab Emirates than in other Gulf countries. While there is no permanent residency program for international investors, its visa procedures are becoming more user-friendly. The government has even begun to grant 10-year residency visas. As an international trade and banking center, the UAE is one of the most tempting countries on this list with no income tax. If you're wary of losing a large amount of your income in taxes, moving to a country where there is no income tax may be appealing. And with little forethought and flexibility, you may be able to realize your dream of living tax-free. So what are your thoughts about this list? Let us know in the comments. And that's all about the 14 countries with no tax. If you liked today's video, please check out more videos like this on our channel and do subscribe to our channel and hit the like button for more updates.